Hello, fellow authors and aspiring writers. Sorry if it took so long for me to update our YouTube channel. I'm currently on a one week no writing break, which is technically broken right now because I'm recording this podcast, which is originally a vlog. Because we crossed the finish line of Camp Nanorimo last Friday. I know, I'm posting this late, but I don't care. What's important is that I'm posting it now, so please don't crucify me for that. In today's podcast, I will be talking about the lessons I learned during Camp Nanorimo this July 2019. I would like to inform you that this is my first Camp Nano session, and I definitely had a blast doing so. I had my greatest moments, and there are moments where I felt like a complete loser. And in spite of all that, I managed to push through with my insecurities as a writer and made sure that I hit the word target every day, even surpass it. And for every experience, there are lessons to be learned. These may not be life changing lessons, but I hope this could help other writers in pursuing their heart's desires. A quick author's note I am not a professional writer and I don't deem myself to be. These points are based on my experience during the camp session this month. You may agree with them, you may not. I'm not forcing them on you because you'll have your own lessons along the way. Let's dive right into this. Procrastination has a solution. Like any other writers and authors, we all have our procrastination moments. And I have the worst case of procrastination. It comes to the point that I won't write for three days even though I have everything ready. Camp NaNoWriMo broke that kind of procrastination, forcing me to write at least something for the day. It helped me continue writing by not thinking of the word count goal and just focus on getting words down. Writing habit versus inspiration. I'm the kind of writer that focuses on inspiration when I write. As I mentioned in a previous blog post, I prefer inspiration because with that, I'm able to pump out, at the very least, 10,000 words without stopping. But waiting for the muse to come also has its disadvantages because there are days when we're not inspired. <laughs> Developing and getting my writing rhythm back is very helpful for me to finish the word goal. And now I'm having a hard time going back to normal. Writer's block in the middle of camp. I had a minor writer's block in the middle of the writing retreat and it was awful. I had writer's block when I was about to write down a fight scene, something that wasn't originally in the manuscript that I was revising for Camp Nano, and because I've never written a full out fight scene, I panicked and my brain blacked out. That prevented me from finishing the word goal. So I sat down one night and I told myself I'm not sleeping until I finish that scene, and eventually I did. Plotting versus pantsing. I've always been a pantser. I prefer to write and write than fix plot holes after reading the whole manuscript. For this month's camp, I tried to plot so I won't miss any plot holes from my manuscript. What happened is I got so stuck in the plotting, I didn't want to write until I get everything right in the outline. I tried so bad to outline thinking it would be better for my manuscript. But as you go through camp, you'll realize your strength in writing and I went ahead and pants my way through. Writing sprints are awesome. I've never done writing sprints because I don't think I can do those. I think I'll black out when I try, and at the first few sprints, I did. But my body suddenly started craving for more because of the rush you feel when there's a timer. The rush keeps me writing, even makes me go on a roll. I would like to thank all the wonderful people on Author2 for your awesome writing sprints. And I was also able to meet awesome writers on sprints, so I achieved two things write and mingle with other writers. Pushing through until the end. One thing I lacked after I stopped writing for a year is perseverance. When I saw that I was very close to finishing, I suddenly stopped working hard to finish the project because I know it's near the end. But I gave myself the whole week to finish it or else I'm doomed. And it also helps when you have a husband who supports your work and tells you to keep writing. Seriously, I told him to keep guilt tripping me into writing and it actually worked. Thanks, love. So that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to today's podcast. It means a lot to me. No words can describe my gratitude for your support. Something to think about what lessons have Camp NaNoWriMo taught you? Will you be incorporating them in your future projects outside NaNoWriMo? Give your answers in the comment section below. That said, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll be posting content twice or thrice a week as much as possible. Give this podcast a big thumbs up, leave your thoughts in the comment section, and share this to anyone who's about to make it to the finish line. Don't forget to click that cute bell on the side to keep you notified every time I post new content. Also, if you want extra goodies from me, you can also definitely check out our Patreon page. It will be listed with all my social media platforms down below. A quick announcement I will be going back to posting podcasts on our YouTube channel, and this podcast will be the first comeback, so watch out for that one as well. 
Happy writing, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.